Approximately 1.4 million Americans have inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, with about 30,000 new cases diagnosed each year. Two major forms of IBD, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, affect patients in roughly equal numbers. IBD is caused by an overactive immune response in the large or small bowel and the immune system is over-responding to the normal bacteria that everyone has in the intestine. Uh, this causes inflammation, breakdown of the surface of the intestine, and the symptoms then become diarrhea, abdominal pain, sometimes bleeding and weight loss. It can be very uncomfortable for patients. Treatment for IBD requires an accurate diagnosis which is based on medical history, a physical examination, and results of endoscopic, radiologic, and pathology studies in addition to routine laboratory tests. Most often we can differentiate between the two diseases by looking at a list of clinical characteristics as well as other factors. So we'll look at uh, where is the disease. In Crohn's it can be anywhere in the GI tract. In ulcerative colitis it's just in the colon. Uh, we look sometimes at some blood tests, sometimes under the microscope, what it looks like. Still, in perhaps 5% of the time, when we look at everything together, we still can't tell the difference between the two diseases. The primary treatment for IBD is medical therapy to induce and maintain remission and improve the patient's quality of life. The medicines prescribed for IBD are generally medications that will suppress the immune response or the inflammation in the intestine. And these are a whole variety of different agents, which include uh, purely anti-inflammatory agents to steroid medications, to gently immune-suppressing medications, and most currently, there are biologic uh, response modifiers, such as anti-TNF antibodies. However, when medical therapy is not enough, a significant percentage of patients will ultimately require surgery. For ulcerative colitis, the disease is confined to the colon or large intestine. So basically the operation that we do is to remove the entire colon and rectum and uh, usually nowadays put things back together with what's called an ileoanal J pouch operation. For Crohn's disease, it's a little bit different. Uh, Crohn's disease can affect the small intestine as well as the large intestine. And the operations are either to remove a small section and put things back together or even better to fix the problem with what's called a strictureplasty, which is a way of opening up the bowel to uh, uh, relieve a blockage. I was diagnosed with Crohn's colitis. Um, I was in a hospital with severe pain um, for a couple of weeks and was transferred to Mass General. Um, I had a perforated colon, so I had emergency surgery, and that resulted in an ileostomy bag. Um, within a few months, um, I was able to have my bowel reconnected and I am currently taking azathioprine okay. and right now I have no symptoms and I feel really good. When I met Tracy she had an ileostomy where the stool comes out into a bag and what we did was uh, remove the ileostomy and we took the end of the small intestine, the ileum, and made a pouch or what's called a J pouch and we put things back together with the rectum which was healthy. So now she's able to eat uh, normally, has uh, normal digestion, and uh, the functional outcome has been quite good. New research by physicians at the Crohn's and Colitis Center at Massachusetts General Hospital suggests stimulation of the innate immune system has significant benefits for some patients. It's very exciting in that it's the exact opposite of what most standard approaches in Crohn's do. We're looking at uh, stimulating the immune system as a way of trying to treat what may be the fundamental underlying problem in Crohn's disease. When we first started looking at this, we were afraid that we would be throwing fuel onto a raging fire, but really the opposite occurred, that many people who hadn't responded to other therapies uh, responded very well, and we're hoping perhaps it may also be a safer uh, approach. The Crohn's and Colitis Center at Massachusetts General Hospital carries on one of the most active, diverse, basic, and clinical IBD research programs in the U.S. It is conducting a number of clinical trials of existing and novel devices and agents, including a novel treatment of Crohn's disease, as well as outcome studies. At Massachusetts General Hospital, we have the full spectrum of research into the causes as well as the treatments of inflammatory bowel disease. Looking into the causes, we have people in the laboratory who uh, study the genetics of inflammatory bowel disease and the basic immune processes that cause the diseases. And in the clinical area, we have studies of outcomes, and we also have, very importantly, clinical trials with novel agents. 
So in summary, uh, we're looking for the causes of the disease as well as better ways to treat it. The Crohn's and Colitis Center specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and other less common forms of IBD. It is the only center in New England dedicated exclusively to the care of patients with these disorders. Well, right now we're in the process of expanding uh, what we're doing. So what we're doing in particular is uh, trying to make a more comprehensive approach to these diseases, meaning we're incorporating uh, nutrition, uh, trying to deal more with uh, mind-body issues and trying to deal with the stress response and looking to really treat these diseases in a broader context of the whole person. For more information on the Crohn's and Colitis Center at Massachusetts General Hospital, contact them today.